a lot. best friends kept him busy uh-huh and then she died of cancer last year oh i'm so sorry uh and he's a, a bored bloodhound is a destructive bloodhound anything specific i should look out for he'll wipe the counter clean faster than heck you <laughs> he just needs room and other dogs yeah i just can't can't do it wife. he's I just, just getting so good at her I understand. Everyone's bed too. Oh, that's great. Come on, bud. I know, this is a tall one. <laughs> Come on. You can do it. Oh, no. Oh. oh. Okay. Okay. Hey. I can, uh, I can do it once you leave. Watch your back, bud. Oh. You okay? Yeah. Stay. All right, guys. It was it was pretty windy back there, but we got him. And uh, yeah, this owner, this guy was uh, it was really sad. It was really sad, and you could tell you could tell when it's you could tell when it's really hard for him because they can't really even talk. You know, they're not trying to convince you that they love the dog. They just, it's just between them and the dog, and it's a very very peaceful type of goodbye, if you will. It's, it's hard. He's a good boy. This dog's eight years old. Still needs to be able to let out that energy. Still needs to be able to be a bloodhound, to go out, sniff, smell, run around, track. This is the perfect place for him. All right. All right, guys, I'm actually gonna do this introduction a little bit differently. Um, he's pretty nervous, so I'm gonna turn the phone off and so I can uh, help him out because I'm, I'm here by myself. So I'm gonna, I'll check in in a second. Tommy, give him some space. Zena, space. There's another bloodhound, come on. Who's that? Two bloodhounds. Hey. Shh. Oh. Relax. It's okay. I know, just a few more minutes. You'll feel better. Just a few more minutes, buddy. I know. Come on, come on, come on. A few more minutes. Come on. You're okay. There you go. Good job. Good job. Great work. Great work. Good job. Keep it up. All good now. Definitely not ready to be off leash, but all good. Soon, bud. We'll take that leash off, okay? Nice and calm, nice and quiet. Just the first few minutes is a little, a little chaotic sometimes. It's a lot. It's a lot for any dog. But he's definitely a big baby for sure. <laughs> He's doing really, really well. I think in a couple of minutes, I'll probably take him off the leash. Help, help, help. All right, I'm gonna let him off now. Let's see what he does. Come here, please. There you go. I do want to mention, be careful what you ask the universe for, because just last week I put out into the universe that I wanted to rescue a bloodhound. No one's ever asked me to rescue a bloodhound. I've always wanted to rescue a bloodhound, and the following week, I've rescued three of them. <laughs> so from now on, I was almost just joking, you know? I was like, come on. But three bloodhounds in a week, a week later, and now I realize the universe is very powerful, and I'm uh, gonna be more careful next time.
If you're wondering why I let Luke, the new one, this is Luke. If you're wondering why I let Luke join us on the pack walk today and even had the confidence to let him off the leash when uh, the ones from yesterday, this one, as well as the other Great Pyrenees, maybe Great Pyrenees mix. The reason I didn't let them come, I let the puppy come because right away the puppy wanted to be part of the pack. The other ones, even though Luke had a, a tougher transition as far as the introduction, he was very engaged with the pack. What I mean by that is I can notice, I noticed that he was very aware of his surroundings. Luke, we're talking about Luke now. This is why I brought him. Luke was very aware of his surroundings and some of the dogs he was intrigued by. A few of the dogs he was very curious about. And then I saw how he was constantly looking for my approval. He was making a lot of eye contact with me and he was communicating with me. He was howling. There was a lot of communication going on. The other dogs, um, this one here, who I think I'm going to name Misha, she was not doing this. Now she's a lot friendlier, you see. She was not doing this, though. There was no communication. It was very, very straight face. Not intrigued by any of the dogs. Not intrigued by me. No eye contact. Nothing. So I didn't want to bring her because that's how she would be outside of the gate as well. She would just go do her own thing. So I'm waiting to build that bond a little bit, a little bit of trust. Or even if she doesn't build it with me, I'm waiting for her to build it with some of the other dogs at least, or even one. You see right now, she, they go right back. She went to greet me and now she's off to do her own thing with the other one. How you doing today, big girl? Yeah, I know. Starting to feel a little bit better. This is howling monster over here. You think, baby. Hey, Day two, guys. Day two. And look at that boy. So this is what we want to see, guys. She's starting to warm up to me, and trust me now. This is good progress. This is just day three or four. Day three, yeah. Yesterday we adopted him, so it's day two for him, day three for her. He hasn't done this, this is really nice. I didn't know we'd get here this quickly. He's a good girl, Neil. Thank you. You're a good girl. I'm gonna get you better. I'm gonna get you so much better. Oh, no. Oh, no. What do you do? Look at this. How about you, sir? Oh, scared me. I scared you. I'm sorry. How are you doing? 